Hi, my name is Megan Desai, and I'm a technical marketing engineer in our Emerging Markets Platforms group, and I'm working on our rural connectivity platform. So this idea started out of the lab, working um, in collaboration with the University of California, Berkeley, um, and you know they, they wanted to extend the range of standard Wi-Fi. And we thought the perfect market for this would be emerging markets, where you have a lot of rural remote areas that are far beyond the reach of you know, reg your regular kind of fiber optic, or, or you know, any other wired backhaul connection. So you know, in a collaboration of Intel Corporation and UC Berkeley, they set off and developed this technology, which is basically a TDMA modification to the MAC layer of standard 802.11. And what we have now, after two years of development, is what we call the Rural Connectivity Platform. You have your RCP core, which has an, you know, a standard 802.11 access point, as well as radios for your long distance link. The long distance link is standard 802.11 with the MAC layer modification of TDMA. We support 900 megahertz, 2.4 gigahertz, and 5.2, 5.8 gigahertz spectrum. So your standard 802.11 BGA as well as 900 megahertz. RCP can have multiple configurations. So what you're seeing here is your standard leaf node configuration. We also have what's called a relay configuration where the signal can be retransmitted to to wherever else, or a fork configuration where it's being retransmitted to two into two different directions. The cool thing about RCP is the length that it covers. We, we're saying it, it, you know, we have tested this on at ranges of up to 100 kilometers. Okay, so what we have here is an actual RCP device. It's made with off-the-shelf components enclosed in an industrial die-cast, you know, external ready encasing. Uh, it has a motherboard with an Intel IXP processor, as well as two radios, one for the access point and the other for the long distance link. So the long distance link in this case is uh, using the 5.8 gigahertz spectrum. So we have a camera connected at the top of the SSL building of UC Berkeley on top of the mountain. There's another RCP and antenna just like this there. And that RCP is connected to this RCP over the long distance link. So the camera is transmitting a live image to us over that long distance link. And we have a computer connected to the RCP that's, that's showing us that live signal. So we have pilots up and running in Panama, in India, in South Africa, and Vietnam right now. And there are others in the works. So Vietnam, for example, is using VoIP over RCP. In India, we are connecting two university campuses, and we have a sustained link over 33 kilometers of 6 megabits, and that's because they're using 802.11b.